killer. Holy fucking shit, okay. Uh, I feel really anxious right now. I apologize for that extremely loud fucking intro. I just feel really anxious because of the re most recent episode for Boruto. Uh, we're, we're today we're going to be re reviewing Boruto episode 13, and the, and the title for this episode is The Demon Beast Appears. So the beginning of the episode basically uh, just starts off with this abandoned house, I guess, and kind of in the middle of the nowhere, and Leaf Shinobi, including Sai, are investigating it. And of course they're searching for basically any sort of clues or whatever, because this apparently used to belong to, to an old member of the Foundation. And plot twist, uh, the, the, the last missing survivor, uh, survivor of the Foundation that of course worked with Donzo actually had a child. And that child was was built up to do all this crazy shit for that 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 revolves around the ghost incidents that have been happening for the past like 12 fucking episodes, and the incident started at the academy. So plot twist: the fucking culprit, the main uh, protect or protagonist antagonist, the perpetrator was fucking the class. Well, it was the fucking class rep. Sumide, I, I, I don't. I, I don't even know. I'm sorry. Like I said, I'm my. I'm, I feel really hyped at my fucking seat. I just want to punch a hole in my wall. I don't know why. This episode just made me feel really anxious. Really, specifically the end of the episode. It was just insane. What happened, dude? All right. So the episode starts off. Sai is is doing uh sai is doing detective work shikadai not shikadai um shikamaru is doing shikamaru type of stuff kakashi's in the episode naruto is doing hokage kcm naruto type of shit the episode starts off with the review uh, review re reveal of sumide the class rep as the main antagonist and i'm gonna go ahead and say this really quick I was really, really surprised when they showed us basically that Sumide, the class rep, was the main antagonist or the antagonist of the arc because literally it was thrown out, out of left field. I'm pretty sure no one ever that was watching the series thought that she was going to be the main antagonist. And if someone said that she was going to be the main antagonist, that means they were just fucking memeing around saying like oh yeah she's she's the bad guy of the arc uh -huh, whatever right but literally everyone's fucking surprised no one would have ever suspected because we were led to believe that sumide was just the class rep of uh, uh boruto's class and was very shy and very timid and didn't really seem like she was going to be fit to be a ninja let, let alone were we that we didn't fucking know she was her father was an old member of the foundation that was run by fucking Donzo. It's fucking insane, okay? So... <laughs> Again, I apologize. I apologize. I'm really anxious, but... Uh, the, uh, the like, kind of Anbu-looking uh, person that we saw in the last... In either the last episode or, the, or a couple episodes... Like, two episodes ago, like around episode 11-ish... Uh, we saw like an Anbu looking person and that ended up being Sumide controlling the ghost. So uh, we're back over into the Hokage's office with Shikamaru and Naruto of course. And they're basically saying like this is the daughter of the of this old member from the foundation, Sumide, and this is Boruto's classmate obviously. And saying that this is the father's fucking name, I'm not going to try to pronounce it. But before he died he was entrusted with this certain programmed uh, program that uh, that Donzo had instructed on him to basically perfect it. He uh, he entrusted uh, he entrusted this that whatever. It's kind of confusing if you guys want uh, like an actual like really good review on the episode. Uh, there will be a link in, down in the description, of course. But basically, the the a fucking beast was sealed within the class rep Sumide, and this beast, uh, in order for it to actually essentially become 
much more powerful than it probably already is. It needs to absorb chakra through basically everybody in the village. And so this entire time, as the ghost incidents have been occurring, by people simultaneously becoming way stronger than they normally were, they're becoming stronger so that way uh, New Day, I don't even know how to pronounce this fucker's name, can absorb the chakra and then essentially become more powerful than it already basically was. So of course Boruto being Boruto, he's not believing Mitsuki because Mitsuki tells Boruto that Sumide is um, the culprit, is the person who's doing all this shit. And he's like, nah, there's no way like it could be her because it doesn't make any sense. Like, it, it just... And he, he was saying how she was a fucking, uh, 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 an innocent bystander by all this crazy shit happening, right, if you remember back at the power plant. And Mitsuki uh, was like, well, it could have been used as, you know, basically just a cover-up for, for her, like, steps of what she's been trying to do this whole fucking time. His entire time, Boruto is just like, nah, it, it doesn't make sense, whatever. He's just being Boruto. Boruto's being Boruto. So, of course, uh, she, uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Sai and a couple other Leaf Shinobi are going after the uh, Sumide, and then they actually find her, and then Sai beats the shit out of her, basically. And, like, kind of knocks her down to the ground and one fucking karate chop to the fucking neck, right? And then summons this fucking beast. And when I say beast, it literally looks like the size of a whole fucking tailed beast. It's not even a fucking joke. This thing is fucking massive. It can literally go on a rampage throughout the whole fucking Hidden Leaf Village, absorbing everybody's chakra, and then just basically nuking the whole fucking village. Because that's what this thing was basically intended to do, especially with Sumide. Sumide was planning on absorbing as many people's chakra as possible, and then basically nuking this fucking village just to kill everybody to have revenge uh, with Donzo and shit. It was fucking insane. And so, uh, because of all this shit that's happening with Sumide and this fucking uh, beast that was summoned from her, um, of course Mitsuki is, is being basically ordered to go ahead and basically take her out and by take her out I mean she has he has to eliminate her she has to eliminate and basically kill this fucking chick and everything and we actually do get to see Kakashi back in battle with Sai and he uses uh, a different lightning style technique or a lightning release technique known as purple lightning and I believe that was used in specifically a novel that Kakashi was in he chops off the fucking tail from this beast and then it doesn't even fucking matter because it started growing out more fucking snake tails I guess I don't even know what the fuck it is <laughs> and then uh, Mitsuki was asking fucking Boruto like well there's only one thing that you can really do right now and it's either save the village and kill Sumide or or save her whilst everybody else perishes and then Boruto being Boruto he's like I'll save both sides and shit and it's not really too surprising to kind of yeah, to, to see Boruto be like, yeah, I'll see both sides. Because even Sh uh, Shikamaru was like, yo, Naruto, we can't treat her as a little girl or just a child. We have to treat this girl as a full-blown criminal. We can't, you know, go soft on her because she is known is being able to be known to do all this crazy shit as is so we gotta fucking take her out or else everyone's just gonna fucking die right and so uh Mitsuki actually creates a clone to basically stop uh Boruto I'm sorry Boruto in his tracks so that way he doesn't try to follow along with Mitsuki because Mitsuki's like you you wouldn't uh you would regret definitely following following me to see what she, what the fuck she's doing and then of course Boruto, uh, Boruto's eye changes to how uh, it has been in the last 12 episodes, and you can see the chakra, uh, the chakra line, uh, led towards from the actual beast itself to. Excuse me, there's something in my mouth. There, uh, it was the line, the chakra line, uh, from the beast over to Sumide. Naruto shows up, shows up, and he's planning on going fucking KCM, KCM QB chakra mode, Kurama chakra mode, and basically taking out this full-blown fucking beast in one goddamn fucking move, bro. One goddamn fucking move. 
But then Kashi's like, wait, Naruto, no, I don't think that's a good idea. It's not wise because this thing could absorb chakra. It's not, it would be really stupid if it absorbed the chakra that you have and also the chakra from the Nine Tails because if that were to happen, literally Sumire can detonate this fucking thing and it will explode. It will explode on itself. It'll nuke the fucking village. It's a whole. It's a giant fucking nu nuclear bomb. I don't understand what the hell is going on. And then of course we have this scene with Mitsuki and Sumide fighting each other. Uh, Mitsuki's getting prepared to basically kill her and stuff like that. Backstory, backstory, whatever, right? Boruto's being Boruto and he's trying to talk no jutsu uh, his way out of the situation at hand and all this other shit. Uh, uh, Mitsuki and Sumire are, are charging at each other, basically being prepared to basically kill each other. That has to fucking come to it. Boruto jumps in right in, right in between them and then uses some kind of different version of Kamui, summons the beast literally to their location. Sumire gets eaten by one of the fucking snake tails on the goddamn motherfucker. And then Boruto jumps into the fucking portal and it disappears. It's all gone. I don't know what the fuck just happened. I'm left with more questions than answers. Uh, what the fuck just happened? This episode was literally fucking insane. I sound like a goddamn madman right now. I apologize. Like I said, if you want to see a better review, on this episode go check down in the link in the description and you'll understand what the fuck is actually what the fuck actually is going on so you don't hear just a whole bunch of fucking nonsense from my dumbass and you know what I'm gonna go ahead and fucking end the episode here cuz I'm tired of shit I haven't had enough fucking sleep I, I, I'm gonna go fucking take like a five-hour nap or probably like a 20-hour nap or some shit because I'm like I said, I'm really fucking tired the episode just ends just right there with Boruto and the class rep just gone in a portal in this fucking realm with this fucking beast inside it and now I'm actually gonna try to calm down and keep my composure I apologize this episode was really good. This episode overall was very, very good. All these past 12 episodes that have been happening throughout the course of a couple of months now Honestly, it all didn't really make a whole bunch of sense in the first place. I didn't really understand what was the whole point of all these episodes happening when literally nothing about the plot was going on. And I guess it was basically just to kind of show off the fact that there's this there's this enemy, there's this uh, antagonist basically controlling everybody and using the chakra from all these people that it's controlling that basically essentially become way stronger than it already basically, excuse me, than it already basically is. So it's kind of crazy in that sense because we really had no idea how strong this thing was anyways. We only seen a couple of glimpses of where it actually came from and where it is, but we didn't actually know who, who the fuck was actually controlling the ghost and essentially this giant beast that came from this fucking girl that used that, that was the daughter of, of the of the fucking old member of the foundation that was run by Donzo. All this shit from shipping it and onwards, it's just fucking insane. This episode was really good. The only real flaws I have, uh, the only real flaw I have with this episode, there's a couple of them. Uh, uh, the video that I said that I will link down in the description and probably link at the end of the video if you do decide to watch it. Um, he will basically explain kind of like the whole issues that I kind of have with the episode. But really quick, kind of just to explain my whole uh, my whole like thoughts, real thoughts and opinions about Sumide being the antagonist was the whole plot twist with her being the bad guy, the secret bad guy that we had no idea, uh, idea uh, who it was. I like that. I like the plot twist of her being uh, this daughter of this old Ambu, uh, not Ambu, I'm sorry. Uh, foundation like bad guy or whatever that used to work with Don so I really liked that the plot twist was, was it seemed to be like put together and put uh, and just put in this episode really really well I thought that was a smart idea what I didn't like really was how she was built up to basically be this uh, shy kind of just timid uh, girl that would kind of just be really awkward kind of like part one Hin uh, Hinata or Hinata it was kind of awkward how she was built up to be, and then all of a sudden she became very edgy, very, very edgy. Her character traits and her attitude just basically just did a complete 180 and just changed overall how she was. 
and I didn't really understand why they did that, but I guess it's kind of just whatever. I'm I'm kind of over it at this point. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video now because I need to edit this video by tonight and upload it by tonight because I did say I was gonna double upload today by the time you're watching this. It just it just ends up basically coming out essentially after midnight. I apologize. I really wanted to double upload. I really wanted to make up for uh, not uploading my super episode uh, around like Saturday, Sunday-ish. I didn't get a chance to do it because I've been uh, procrastinating and all this other shit. I haven't been sleeping right and stuff like that. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here. If you guys did enjoy this random commentary that I had for this episode review, go ahead and, and uh, like the video and subscribe if you want to see more crazy shit just like this. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Like I said, if you if you like content just like this, be sure to subscribe. Anyways, hope you have a fantastic day. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.